I'm going to do a little video on here on a 446 pack of uh, the outboard uh, carburetor base plates. You know, they have a uh, uh, an idle air screw adjuster in here that's uh, under, if nobody's taking it apart, they'll be under uh, a little lead plug. And you can just drill a small hole in that little lead plug and just get in there with a pick and pop it right out of there and that'll expose the screws. The problem with these things is, is these are a special uh, uh, brass screw. Uh, here's one that I extracted already. And then you can see how the point is, it's real pointy. So you, you don't want to use a regular air fuel screw because you'll get a, a screwy uh, idle adjustment air fuel adjustment on it. So what happens with these things is because they're brass and they've got this uh, you know slot in them you see in there and you know the first thing you want to do is make sure you grind a screwdriver to fit in that slot. Now what happens is because this brass is so old you know as brass ages it gets really brittle so what I do is I my first attempt is to uh, uh, go in here and heat this thing up. You got to heat it up real good, you know, here and then on the back side and keep working back and forth. And I used a screwdriver and try to get them loose. But like I say, that brass is so brittle, those little ears break off on the screw. So now you've got, uh, uh, you know, nothing to, uh, you know, get a hold of. So the way, the way you extract these is, uh, you know, I put it in the vise. And the first first thing I do is I take a 1564 uh, 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 drill bit because it's it's the right diameter of what they've bored the big counter bore. And what that's going to do is keep you centered because what you want to do is drill down and you'll get rid of those little ears that are broken off and uh, you just drill down a bit and this will give you a like a perfect center on that little screw you know here's one that I've extracted you can see the hole and uh, the uh, the drill bit you want to use uh, you know for the extractor is a uh, 564 it's a real small one get a 564 and the extractor is a number one you know it's a small guy and I use in the you know it's got a square square base on it like that they're made to like go in a tap uh, holder now if you don't have a tap holder you could use a, a small wrench this makes it way easier so what we're first going to do is uh, we're going to drill that That brass down. Now you know you still you, you want to keep your drill bit straight here when you're doing this. You'll see a little bit of aluminum coming out. Don't worry about it. So now, if you can see in there. I've got a nice center on that screw. So now what I do is uh, we put the 564 drill bit in. And like again, you want to hold the drill straight, but it's got a center point. And you just start out like really slow. And you know, I drill down to about, you know, somewhere around there. So now what we're going to do is, you know, you guys know how uh, 
uh, screw extractors work, you know, they bite in, you know, counterclockwise. So what I do is I get it in the hole, and I take my hammer, and you see it's kind of turning as I tap it. Get that in there. Then you know you just uh, you know you can use map gas or uh, propane, whatever you got. But you want to heat like this back side here, where it's like really thick, goes right to the uh, right to the bore. And uh, we're going to heat it up there, and we're going to switch around, we're going to heat over here. You want to get this thing good and hot, I mean this, this is not going to melt, this is an aluminum base, it's not going to melt. You know, get it really good and hot before you even, you know, test your, uh, your, your sh screw extractor. We'll go back to the back side. And what I'll do is I'll just test it now. It's not moving. You don't want to force this thing, you know. When it when it breaks loose, it doesn't take much to, you know, start turning it. Because if you strip the bite out, I mean, you got to drill down a little deeper and tap it down. And you know, I do run in, into some of these that are just they become one with the aluminum, and you just can't get them out. And then I put them in the milling machine so I can in index that hole and I'll drill down just below the original tap size which is an 832 and then I put the tap in the middle and I just come down and, and just tap that uh, brass right out of there but it either takes a really good uh, drill press with a good uh, uh, you know holder for it and uh, you know the whole thing is to avoid that and try to get to do it this way see right now it just turned a little Just keep your heat on there while you're doing this. And that's it. It's like pulling a rotten tooth out. But you know, if you take your time, you, you know, you're not going to mess it up. It just, uh, you know, takes a little touch. Keep putting the heat until this thing will start extracting that screw and then what you want to do is uh, uh, you want to have an 832 tap because even if uh, you can get them out normally without breaking off the little ears uh, you know after you clean up your base and stuff you want to run 832 tap in there so when you screw the new ones in they go in real easy no they're tougher because it's new brass they're not going to break but uh, these little guys are probably right now I'm paying about $25, 26 dollars a pair for these they're not cheap so you know when guys uh, uh you know send me this, this is a customer's job you know this is ec extra on top of uh, the restoration on it but uh hey just thought i'd give you guys a tip you guys are doing this stuff yourself uh this is a way you can uh, uh take care of this without uh sending them to me <laughs>